Hi guys and welcome back. In this video we'll be taking a look at how to reduce the size of your packaged game in Unreal Engine 5. So right now I just have a blank third person template over here. It comes with a pretty basic map and a character. We'll go ahead and package it using the project launcher. So head into tools, project launcher and we'll just go ahead and create a new profile over here which will be for our project. Select the project to be your current project. We'll make this one shipping. We'll assume that we are working with the final build over here. And do not deploy is what you need to select. And over here, just select package and store locally. So by default, it's going to save it in your staged builds directory, which I will show you guys how to get into. So if that's all done, by default, window should be selected. Change the uh, cook setting from on the fly to by the book and windows is what you'd want to select and English should be selected over here as well. So we'll just call this one, let's say package size reduction. Now if I head back and if I click on launch profile, it's going to go ahead and package my game. Also, if you guys have any questions or suggestions, you can go ahead and join my Discord server. Link is down in the video description. And if you guys do wish to support me, link to my Patreon page as well is down in the video description. And the game which you're seeing right now on screen is my game Enigma, which I'm working on right now. It aims to, you know, unify gamers of all genres, which I will be getting into in future videos. So our game's done packaging and if we head into our stage builds directory which will be there in your project directory saved stage builds you can right click on the windows folder and you'd see it's almost 1.22 gigabytes which is quite a lot. So what we're going to do is try to reduce that as much as possible. Under cook maps I want you guys to just select the third person map or whichever map you're using. That way it's going to reduce, you know, it's not going to cook the content which is related to these maps. So I'll just go ahead and package and show you guys the difference. Alright, so now we reduced it down to 738 megabytes. But we can surely do better. So head back into the project launcher. And over here, if you check advanced settings. You can go ahead and check don't include editor content in the build. So that will not include your U project file and a bunch of other source files. So that is going to reduce the size quite a bit as well. Along with that, you can also select store all content in a single pack file. Now what this does is basically it creates a dot pack file instead of storing your content as separate files. So that somewhat helps in reducing the size. So anyways, let's go ahead and see the difference now. Alright, so now we are down to 483 megabytes, which is a substantial improvement. Now, before I head into going and modifying these files over here, I also want to mention a few things. What is going to reduce your size significantly in terms of your assets is going to be textures. For example, if I head into starter content, materials and if I head into ground grass, which is definitely using a texture. So I have to just find it and there it is. So if I were to open it up, you'll notice that this is 2048 by 2048, which is reasonable. But if you have really large texture, textures such as 4K or above, this is absolutely not required. So you can go ahead and reduce the size of your texture basically. You can do that by heading into this maximum texture size setting and maybe set that to 1024. Now, even though you may think this is a half size decrease, this is actually a one fourth size decrease. Uh, what I mean by that is the new texture is one fourth the original size. This is because your texture is in two dimensions. So if you reduce the length and the height by half, it's going to be half into half, which is one fourth. And for some textures like this, you can kind of get away with a low resolution. But make sure you only do that if you have problems with the size. So that's what you can do. And now we'll talk about modifying the actual files over here. 
So if you head into your project files name content packs, you will find this over here. But if you head back in, if you head into binaries, Win64, you will find these .pdb files. These are not really required for your final game. So I can just go ahead and delete it without worrying about anything. And if I go ahead and just head back into stage builds windows and see the properties, we have got it down to 360 megabytes. Now, if I go ahead and launch it, we still shouldn't have any problems and we should straight away get into our map. So wait for it to load. And in theory, we should have no problems and we are playing the game. So that's it for this video guys. Hope it helped. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys do leave a thumbs up. Also, links down in the video description below. As I told, there's a link to my Discord server. So if you guys have any questions, you guys can ask those over there. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.